Hello everyone and welcome to my young and restless gossip channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Kyle's difficult love life Diane the mediator Billy's caution. According to the young and the restless, Abby Newman will be concerned about Ashley Abbott and the risk that she could become entangled in Tucker McCall's web again. Ashley has been adamant about putting Tucker behind her romantically, but Abby is skeptical that her mother will fulfill her word. As Abby's concerns rise, she'll question Ashley in order to learn more about her mother's genuine feelings for Tucker. On Thursday's episode of Y and R, Diane Jenkins Abbott will be concerned about Kyle Abbott becoming involved with someone she finds almost as problematic as Tucker, notably Audra Charles. Although Diane put Kyle back into the lion's den by asking him to act as a mole, she'll be fearful about Audra and her ability to lure Kyle in. That's why Diane will feel compelled to interfere in Kyle's love life, and things could turn sticky as a result of his mother's intervention. Diane may put Audra on notice during a stormy encounter, or she may try to play matchmaker for Kyle and Summer Newman, Allison Lanier, if she still sees a future for them together. Regardless, Summer appears to be completely charmed with Chance Chancellor, and it appears that she will pursue a romance with him rather than a reconciliation with Kyle, at least after Sharon Rosales is out of the picture. Meanwhile, Jack Abbott will issue a warning to Billy Abbott. Kyle has consented to rejoin Jabot as COO, and Jack is relieved to have his son back at the family business. Billy, on the other hand, continues to distrust Kyle and appears to have greater reservations about his nephew's commitment. Of course, if Billy crosses the line with critical remarks, Jack will advocate for family peace and possibly urge Billy to tone down any hatred that's building up. There will be a lot more Abbott family drama in the future, but for now, Jack will try to be the mediator. Victor's stunt, Jordan and Claire's next move. Victor Newman will go to extreme lengths to save Nikki Newman, according to the young and the restless. Meanwhile, Jordan and Claire Grace maintain their position. Claire appears to be turning against Jordan now that certain previously hidden secrets have come to light. Continue reading to find out what's going on in the CBS soap opera, The Restless and Young Jordan's Fatal Error. Y and R reveal that Claire may have made a mistake. Claire was hell-bent on making Cole Howard and Victoria Newman pay for leaving her as a newborn as fans observed. Jordan, on the other hand, made a huge mistake when she admitted to kidnapping Claire from the hospital in order to punish the Newmans. Claire Grace, Y and R, changes directions. Claire had never heard this version of the story before. Claire explained to Jordan that the fact that she was stolen rather than abandoned changed everything. Claire appears to be paralyzed right now, trying to process these new information in her head. Claire could very well end up saving Nikki and the Newmans in the end. Let's chat about Nikki until then. Jordan and Claire's next move, the young and the restless drastic act. Defending the young and restless Newman Nikki. However, the young and the restless show that there was no time for Jordan and Claire to argue. Victor and Nick Newman capitalized on the diversion. It was only long enough for a poisoned Victor to limp weakly up the stairs to rejoin Nikki. As Jordan walks in with a knife, Victor and Nikki will gasp. Victor and Nikki, on the other hand, will see the fresh blood on the knife. The pair will be curious as to whose blood is on the knife. Victor will do everything in his power to protect Nikki as Jordan approaches with the bloody knife, ready to strike again. Y and R. When Jordan takes a swipe at Nikki, Victor appears to be harmed. Victor, on the other hand, is unlikely to die. Jordan stabs Nick when he tries to save Nikki, according to the weekly preview footage. There appears to be blood where the slice goes through Nick's shirt. It must be a serious injury because Nick comes to a halt and Jordan returns upstairs to Nikki's prison chamber. Even if Nick believed it was a little cut, he'd be blasting up those steps ahead of Jordan. So will Nick die as a result of his injuries? Who will protect Nikki and Victor from Jordan's rage? Claire, Cole, and Victoria's daughter will it be? Claire is arrested while Jordan hides and EMTs arrive at Newman's house. According to the young and the restless, Victor Newman would knock the knife out of Aunt Jordan's hands and throw her into the bed, giving him a chance to exit the bedroom with Nikki Newman. Victor will go downstairs with Nikki after locking Jordan in that room and discovering that Nick Newman has been stabbed. 
Cole Howard will try to stem the bleeding while Victoria Newman begs Claire Grace to intervene. Claire will surrender and open the drawer containing the antidote bottles when Victoria and Cole vow to aid her if she does this. Claire will hand over two bottles to Victoria while she rushes off to find the ones Jordan hid somewhere. Victoria will offer Victor one bottle before Cole drinks one as well. Meanwhile, according to Y and R spoilers, Nick will drag himself over to the drawer to collect his foam and dial 911. Claire will return when the ambulance arrives and assist Nick in drinking an antidote bottle. Victoria will take the last one because Nikki's IV contained alcohol rather than poison. The antidote will take action fast, so everyone will appear to be improving. Cole and Victoria will still believe their kid died, so Claire will mourn over all the falsehoods and how this plan went so wrong. There will be no evidence of Jordan in the room upstairs when the cops and EMTs arrive. After determining that Jordan cannot safely leap from the window without injuring herself, Victor will insist Jordan is elsewhere in the house. As she is carried away in handcuffs, Claire will pretend she has no idea where Jordan is. Claire will pause in the doorway to apologize, admitting she doesn't know what to believe and doesn't even know who she is anymore. Victoria will question how someone so bright could end up like that once Claire joins the cops. Victor will accuse Claire of being just as awful as Aunt Jordan and will label her insane. Author Charles at Newman Media will try and fail to contact Nikki over the phone regarding an important business decision. Billy Abbott won't be able to reach Victoria at Crimson Lights, so he'll ask Nate Hastings if he's heard anything from her. Nate will admit he hasn't and will be surprised by Billy's updates on Nikki's seizure, or at least the one the Newmans imagined she had when they left for Oregon. Billy will sense Nate and Victoria are feuding, so he will press Nate for information and discover that he slipped into one of Victor's classic traps. Billy will sympathize with Nate since he has been there before. Audra will ultimately join the chat and learn about Nikki's seizure story, so she will contact Nikki's sister, Casey Reed, Roberta Layton, and confirm that Nikki has not been seen or heard from. Billy, Nate, and Audra will be concerned that no one has responded to their attempts to contact Victoria, Nikki, Victor, Nick, and Claire. When Billy believes it's time to involve the authorities, Audra and Nate will persuade him against it. Although Nate will pretend that the Newmans are simply distracted by the medical emergency, Billy will suspect that something is severely wrong. Billy will call Nick's phone and finally get him on the line after stopping by Newman Enterprises to ask if anyone knows anything. Nick will have been patched up by then, but he won't go into detail about what happened, merely confirming to Billy that everyone is safe. Back at the coffee shop, Audra will mention how Victoria is always putting Newman first, implying that Nate deserves better. Audra will also bring up her job offer again, but Nate will refuse to accept anything with such a vague description. Nate will determine that he's in and will claim that it's a date when Audra suggests that he take her to dinner and receive some indications about the position. EMTs will transport Cole and the Newmans to the hospital from the lake house once more. Claire will be gone to the police station, leaving the house empty as a hidden Jordan peers through a vent.